fun friends this is janet with photography makes and today i'm coming on to share a let's embellish with us wednesday project i have decided to make some giant um tags or embellishments of some sort you could put this on a, a card topper as well or on a present or whatever you would like it to be um, the hashtag is hosted by lilo crafts and marianne's craft corner so um today i have decided to use this um really fun cookie sheet die um looks like this and then i thought oh um let's do like a cookie rack right so then i pulled out this stamp this is a um tile stamp i don't know who makes it but i think it's kind of it looks like a cookie rack doesn't it i don't know look like a cooling rack to me so that's what i decided to um stamp on the bottom and then I pulled out this stamp set. I think this was from last year. I don't know if I have a date on it. But this is Christmas Cookies by Pink and Main. Isn't this cute? So it's got a lot of cute little sentiments and um, all these little cookie shapes. So I cut them, or well, I, put, I, I stamped them all out and I colored them and I cut them out with my brother's scan and cut. And then I added glitter because everything's better with glitter. And this is how they turned out. Aren't they cute? So, um... I was trying to be extra with these and I was just kind of struggling. So I decided that I was going to um, just kind of follow my instincts. So <laughs> I put a piece of vellum paper for like parchment paper. So you can see the cooling rack underneath. And then um, I did edge my tray in the new Distress Color um, Lumberjack Plaid, which is beautiful. So I have um, gray cardstock with the Lumberjack Plaid. And then the vellum on the top. And then I put my cookies on top of there. And then I added treats from um, Scrap Diva Designs. It's in her um, 3D box. 3D, um, I think it's uh, cookie. It's it's the tall box. It's a shaker box. It's pretty cool. Um, it's in her, that set. So I then decided that I was going to embellish them with some satin ribbon and some... Um, white and blue um, twine and a little tiny jingle bells so they have some sound because I don't know I think sound adds a little bit of an element but yeah this is my tag for today I hope you enjoyed them they were um, they were quite easy they took a little while to come together um, because of all the coloring I did color all of them in Copics um, and I cut everything out like the treats and the um, trays but they're all slightly, they're all slightly different. And I've got cute little gingerbreads on there. So yeah. And I might add these to my mailbox. I have no purple in these. Um, not that it has to be purple. <laughs> but I might add these to my mailbox as well as an embellishment. Um, that's where the original idea was going. So um, yeah, maybe somebody would want to put these in a little, um, you know, Christmas time album or something. Actually, you know, it'd be really cute. And I don't know if I have, um, I was going to say the, uh, Diana Markham's, uh, let's see what do I have here. I have like Christmas cheer. Like she has the recipe stamps. I don't know which one would be good for this. Um, mom's apple pie and pumpkin bars. Yeah. And I have like the new gingerbread one as well um, but I was gonna say actually this might have been fun to do like a pocket I might actually add on to these now but to do a pocket and then add like a little recipe stamp in the back I actually have this actually might work um, is there a sugar cookie on this oh there is a sugar cookie on this I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add this little um, sugar cookie stamp from Lily of the Valley here these are the um, this is the stamp sheet and they're beautifully sized, but I think this would be really cute on the back of my tag, which I already glued everything. So I'm going to have to, I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp them out, um, cut them out, and then just glue them to the back. And then it'll be like a little recipe, um, a little recipe gift, you know, with your, with the gift tag. I mean, that's really cute, right? So yeah, I think that actually finishes my project, which is great because I wasn't sure how I wanted to finish these. But yeah, I'm going to add the sugar cookie recipe to the back. 
I might I might do it as a pocket and add it like a like a takeout or I might actually just like I said glue it to the back so well thanks for watching and thanks for helping me come up with the final touch I appreciate that <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day bye